we're really happy to have the Hopley Eaton Award to recognize uh, one of our finest cuttermen. And Lieutenant Baldovsky has really done a tremendous job in the last year demonstrating that. From taking us on board the Cutter Midget through TISTA, where we earned the Battle E and the overall Operational Excellence Award, to prosecuting counter drug cases in the Eastern Pacific. He really spends a lot of time on training and mentoring our newest junior officers and deck watch officers, whether that be celestial navigation uh, to leadership. I think you need to be creating trust with your people. Some of the traits that lead up to that, uh, that I found that work well, you know, selflessness, you gotta take care of your people. And sometimes that means holding them accountable, uh, but, but they can tell. I mean, that's helping them get to their goals and achieve what they wanna do. I think you need to be professionally competent. You know, you, we gotta keep learning ourselves all the time and, and asking questions. If you don't know something, figuring it out. Um, I, I think you've got to be positive as a leader. Uh, I, I'm not going to kid you and say that there's every day is, is perfect and it's it's all going to go well, but but you got to turn those those rough days around pretty quickly and be can do about it. So I think those things, and then finally, hopefully somewhere in there, you have a sense of humor. And again, whatever that mix is on the front end, if, if you're inspiring trust on the back end, I think people will follow you. He's also helped me with like different goals that I have in my career. And I've seen them do that a lot with other shipmates as well. He's just uh, very tentative and he has a very large you know, department on the ship. It's the biggest one on the ship, operations. You know, to be able to sit down one-on-one -on -one and help you out with whatever you need, it's, it's a big deal to me. Uh, when we came home from Tista, we had a broom we put up on the, uh, up the mast and, f and flew that broom all the way home and uh, all the way home. So from San Diego all the way to Seattle, and that's pretty cool. So I think really the ultimate takeaway is when you leave something like Tista, which is three weeks of basically every operation slash uh, mission that we can do uh, all crammed into those three weeks, it's, it's really rewarding. You know, everybody leaves with a sense of pride and ready to, you know, they've proven they can go out and do the mission. Uh, going afloat, being a cutterman, is really one of the most rewarding yet challenging uh, jobs we have in the Coast Guard. You know, when we're underway and there's 170 people all working together in the middle of the night at 2 a.m. and we're launching a helicopter and we're putting boats in the water and the LE teams are going out and the engineers are transferring fuel and they're keeping the engines running and it's a 130 degrees in the engine room you know and meanwhile the cooks are still making food it's it's awesome everybody's pulling their part and I think that that's really rewarding and those experiences uh, that, that you get afloat uh, that's why I would encourage people to, to give it a shot you know and I think that you're gonna enjoy it and even if you don't go afloat again I, I think that you know you'll really cherish the sea stories that you take from it